Hey guys, this is Mikey B. Zan, and today I thought I'd show you a bunch of drawings that I made while I was in high school. So this is called The Movie Maker, and as you can see, it's a bunch of film intertwining in this convoluted mess, and it's wrapping around some kind of brain. So this is what I imagined my brain would look like if I was watching a movie. This is called Heal the Weak, and I drew this when I was 15, uh, my first year in public school, sophomore, and this was the year I really became obsessed with drawing all the time. I was always just into drawing, but at this age, something just clicked in my brain where I just had to do it all the time. And I, I wasn't popular in high school, but I was well known um, for making weird drawings. And it's kind of funny because I homeschooled up until 10th grade. Well, I went to a private school in 7th and 9th grade, but, uh, you know, pretty sheltered. So the first day of public school, I came wearing this Mario shirt called uh, Know Your Mushrooms. And it had all the mushrooms under that phrase. And all the stoner kids were commenting on my shirt, and I didn't understand why it was, like, so funny to them. And I became kind of popular with that crowd pretty quick, and I didn't know why. Plus, I had long hair, so they just assumed I was one of them. Yet, I had no idea that mushrooms, or shrooms as they were calling it, was any kind of drug. And I was extremely shy and awkward, especially in 10th grade. Um, and I remember my first week in public school, we in Spanish class, we were taking like a little quiz. And <laughs> I got a nosebleed, which I get nosebleeds often. And as I was taking this quiz, like, I saw blood dripping on the paper. And I was so painfully shy, I didn't know how to resolve the situation. So I just stared at the paper getting covered in blood until finally the teacher <laughs> came over and uh, asked me if I could take care of this situation. Then in biology class, also in 10th grade, this blonde-haired popular cheerleader type girl came over to my desk and gave me a note and I opened it up it said I like your hair and it had her phone number and a bunch of swirly girly colorful drawings around it and the only thing I was thinking was she should probably get better at shading because the drawing was not so good but I sometimes don't know how to talk to girls yeah. By sometimes, I mean most of the time. I'm actually much less shy now. Uh, high school was a very strange social experiment. But I, I really like talking to people now. But I also still really like drawing. So most of the time in math class, I would just draw stuff. This was in geometry. This was a homework assignment. And this is what I drew for my homework assignment. This was a representation of how math makes me feel. I kind of had some weird thoughts. Like, I actually thought math was controlling my mind. I had just read 1984 by George Orwell, and I think I might have taken that book a little too literally. I would write 2 plus 2 equals 5 on almost all of my homework assignments. I'd hide it somewhere <laughs> as my passive-aggressive way to protest. Well, anyways, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to like the video, you can like it. If you want to subscribe for more, you can do that. And the video that's playing before your eyes is a speed drawing, which I will be posting these videos every Tuesday. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later.